Well, good morning, folks. It is 10:42. Uh, I've dropped to the back just so I can do a bit of a chat. I'm trying to do what I did yesterday and do that one one hit wonder, and then throw the card in my phone, and hopefully, all being well, upload the footage to the tube. But look at this. As you've noticed, I'm not on the Africa Twin. No, 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 no. I'm on the new NC750X. And I'll tell you this now, it's one of the best bikes I've rode in a long time. So, so smooth. It's got loads and loads of punch up. That's third gear, that. He was dropping it down to second on the Africa Twin. Pulls like a train. It's only got one disc up front. And I don't know how they've made the brakes so good. The brakes, it, it, it looks like it, or it feels like it would outstop the Africa Twin, this. Obviously, it's a single disc. He's got a couple of these. Uh, the older models, the predecessors to this. Uh, and from what I've read, and what Marty said, he said the light like chalk and cheese, the two models outside of each other. Let's stand up, see if you can see anything. But yeah, it's got speed, oh, it may, uh, speed mad, well, on kilometres an hour here, sorry. Kilometres an hour in the middle, gear indicator there, fuel gauge at the top, clock, power, traction control and engine braking. It looks like they're all set in the middle. Uh, you've got your average trip there. Let's watch where we're going. Average speed and total miles. You've got everything you need. All with the lightest clutch in the world. I've never known a clutch that light. Do it with your little finger. Now we need to uh, dispose of this car. That's the only thing we've been at the back. We stopped for a coffee stop and I wanted to get a picture of the bike. So I parked it in a nice place and ended up at the back now. And I bet it's going to be ages before the space reveals itself. Let's have a look, let's have a look. Oh, I think we're all right here. Good thing about dropping the bat though, you can play a bit of catch up then. Eyes round corners. That's a versus 650 in front. This is so composed. It's really, really comfortable. You know, it feels that. It feels a bit like a comfier big H. This storage thing under here just swallows your bag. Sounds a bit wrong, that, doesn't it? <laughs> anyway, I had a rucksack on. And we're not going on the Africa Twin. Uh, I had it on my back. And I thought, oh shit, there's storage under here. I opened it, it's like a suitcase. You fit everything in it. Look at that. So yeah, this is day five. One more day. And then it's flying home. I'm <laughs> devastated. <laughs> Proper devastated. I do need to get back up the pointy end at some point. Yeah, when you get all the reviews on these, I know most people get it in DCT, don't they? From what I've seen. Uh, and you never hear a bad review. I don't think they look that bad either. They're all right. Ooh. I see when you're at back uh, and people slow down for corner, you've got to anchor on a bit. in the dream.
obviously the switch gear is Africa Twin switch gear. Well, it's not it's Honda switch gear, but same as the Africa Twin. Uh, like I said, single disc, but that single disc is plenty. The light here, I'm, it must be like an economy light. It, it does change from green to blue. Somebody probably knows about that. Like I said, I've just got on it this morning. I don't know a great deal about the bike. So I'm looking if it's got self cancellers. No. Well, the Africa Twins got self cancellers. Uh, this doesn't appear to. This is the perfect bike for around here. So light and nimble. It's like that, I just don't even think about these bends. Yeah, the lad in front and the one in front of him, they've only, this is their first day today. I don't think we stopped there the other time. Let's have a look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Start recognising certain restaurants and uh, coffee stops now. But yeah, this is only a quick video, like I did yesterday. Uh, just forget videos out and that and then you can have a see what we're up to and what the rest of it. Canary Motorcycle Tours. I have been asked who's doing the tours. Uh, I thought everybody knew it's a, it's a big operation here. Uh, both both guides, Jose and Martin, know the island like the back of their hands. Which is good. Right, they proper look after you. So if you go on their website, uh, Canary Motorcycle Tours, uh, it tells you everything you need to know. Because it was asked how much does it this and how much is that. It's all on there. Because uh, it depends what you want to do. They can they can cater for different days. As I said, I had booked two weeks off work. And I just said, can I do Sunday to Sunday? And they said they had one place left. So obviously I snapped it up. I'm just going to drop back a bit here so I can have a bit of fun in a minute. Tell you what, this cyclist trapping on a bit, let's get outside of it. What's he doing? Doing about 60 k's an hour then. <laughs> Go on, lad. The brake is awesome, front brake is awesome. Look, is it just a standard caliper? Yeah, and this thing caliper up front. Proper holes, you're up there. Cyclists everywhere, it's a bit of a mecca for cyclists obviously because of the hills. Oh, we've just got to switch the camera off, uh, but oh lord, a nice twisty bend coming up. Oh, I want to drop back a bit. Keep catching the, the guy in front, he, obviously it's the first day so we're still getting used to it. Look at that. Oh, beautiful, it's like a racetrack. <laughs> it's like a racetrack. Read. Let's go and play catch up again. Oh, my toe touch floor then! <laughs> love it! Absolutely love it! Oh, the car coming so we can't swing it wide. Can keep it tight. Hang on, we're going to come to a halt here. Yeah, the next uh, the next stop, I'm gonna try and make my way to the pointy end. What's not to like about this? Let's see if we can see road. You can see the road over there. I'm twisting. It's like a blue racetrack, and it goes right down there. But this video is going to be a bit longer than I expected. Yeah, just drag a bit of front brake. There you go, engine braking down there. Oh, it's, it's so composed. All the way is brand new, the suspension's uh, 
really plush, doesn't, can't feel any bumps whatsoever. You do have to watch your toes up floor though. If you hang your feet off the pegs, you, your feet touch the floor, uh, as I've just found out. Oh, it's just touched again. Oh, I'm gonna have to start putting my toes on there. The left foot just uh, dragged the floor then. Look at this. What are you having this? Yeah, it'd be rude if it switched the camera off now. Utterly rude. Well, it would have was moving a bit. You say, well, you just ride at your own pace, your own comfortable pace. I will be down in, in that group in a bit though. Get that. Ooh, beautiful. Ooh, take it steady, Neddy. Yeah, he said he's not, not really into adventure type bikes, the lad in front, so he's, he's, he's probably just all alien to him. Sat bolts up right with wide bars, it probably just doesn't, doesn't sit well. I said to him, he said, if, you, if you're a bit uncomfortable on it, swap bikes if you want, so don't mind, I'll take out it. Variety, spice of life and all that. Look at that. Obviously you can see where we've just come from down. Come from down. Does that meant me? Look at this. Yeah, it's beautiful. Beautiful. Well, I hope this works later when you're watching this tonight. Uh, Yeah, so, yeah, yesterday I put the SD card in before, uh, it was a bit of palaver, but it not obviously worked. Uh, the only thing is, it's got to be done in one take, so you can't make a mess of anything. But when we get home, I've got loads of stunning footage with the GoPro and that. Uh, we'll throw some of that together, it'll be, it'll be great. Oh, get on, oh, Jesus. Gotta be careful around them bends, you need a you need come into them wide, so you've got a bit of a uh, bit of an escape if someone should be coming around the corner. Anyway folks, thanks for watching this, that's if you are watching, if you are watching it, it's worked, again. I'm going to try and bang this up tonight, you can have a nose it. Sorry it's a bit longer than expected but I couldn't not put all that on could I? Eh? That would have been absolutely rude. And this, this is a stonker this absolute belter it's just so it just does what you want it to do so confidence inspiring yeah if you come over here and you may be uh you, you know what i mean you're, you're pretty no one's saying you're new to bikes but you know what i mean you're maybe a bit you know pace might be a bit quick ask can you go on this trust me just ask can you go on one of these it'll flatter anybody this and if it holds me suspends me it'll do anybody you can get your feet flat up floor for any of the technical stuff Brakes are amazing. Engine braking's just perfect. Absolutely perfect for the bends so we can just crawl around them. But anyway folks, I am gonna love you and leave you now. I'm gonna see what the bumps like. Yeah, perfect. So love you and leave you, thanks for watching this. Hopefully get another one out next time. Is this our other group? I know it's not.
Oh, look at that. Just before they leave, I'll let you look at that. Oh, we're going the right way. Imagine having that on your back gate. Uh, they come out of the back of their house and they've got that. What's weird round here as well, is all this, all like barren in the middle of nowhere. But you have a really good internet signal, no matter where you are. I've never known an island like it. I've not been anywhere yet where we've not had good internet. And you can be up there, you can be anywhere. And the internet's unbelievably good. Yet in the UK, oh, you have to be in the living room and I can't get on Wi-Fi. In a way, yeah, it's going on. Yeah. Pull my socks up. Hey, yeah, we're back, we're back. We're back with the gang. So I'll definitely go in there, folks. Thanks for watching this, and I'll uh, I will see you next time from the beautiful Gran Canaria. Where's the fucking camera? Where's that?